Well, researchers say that they started finding these birds around August 20th near White Sands, and since then they've started seeing more and more dead birds across the state. Researchers say this could be for several reasons, from wildfires to the change in weather patterns. Yeah, it is very shocking and it's heartbreaking. One by one, hundreds and thousands of migratory birds are being found dead in New Mexico. Large-scale avian mortalities do occur. They're not common, but they're usually associated, they're very short term, associated with a single pulse in the weather. So it would be over a couple of day period. But this situation is weird for New Mexico State University researchers because it's lasting longer than a few days. There are several hypotheses and it could be just the perfect storm coming together. It could be uh, um, the fires across the West. Researchers say the fires in Oregon, California and Colorado may be causing birds to change migratory pathways or the smoke may be causing damage to their lungs. Another theory dry conditions. If a bird lands in the middle of the desert and there's not and it's been dry and it can't find the food it needs to survive, it's not going to be it's not going to be able to survive. The New Mexico Department of Game and Fish is also investigating the problem. Right now they're collecting samples of the birds. Our biologists are reporting significant numbers of warblers um, as well as swallows and some of the other species like mountain bluebirds um, have also been affected. While scientists continue searching for answers tonight, they're hoping to bring awareness for the birds. Some of these populations are already struggling and to add something like this to it is is devastating. If you find a dead bird while you're out hiking or on a walk, you can report it using the iNaturalist app. Researchers say you shouldn't touch the birds. Reporting in Albuquerque, Marissa Adamas, KOAT Action 7 News. New Mexico State University researchers are logging their bird findings to see what commonalities they have and they'll send those samples to a lab in Oregon. For